Across Europe, festival traditions go back centuries and are filled with time-honored pageantry and ritual. Entire communities hurl themselves with abandon into the craziness. There's no better example than here in Italy, Siena's Palio. Twice a year, that spirit shows itself in a five-century-old citywide competition that culminates in a crazy horse race. Siena is divided into 17 neighborhoods, or contrade. With their mascots and flags, these have long been competitive and filled with rivalry. Each July and each August, the entire city readies itself for the big race. Its centerpiece, Il Campo, is transformed into a medieval racetrack as tons of clay are packed atop the cobbles and bleachers are set up. Before the race, competing neighborhoods gather for communal dinners that last well into the night. There are rousing choruses with everybody cheering their contrada. For days, processions break out across the city. With waving flags and pounding drums, it all harkens back to the Middle Ages, when these rituals boosted morale before battle. A highlight of the parade is the actual banner, or palio. This palio, featuring the Virgin Mary to whom the race is dedicated, will be awarded to the victorious Contrada. Finally, with what seems like the entire city packed into Il Campo, it's race time. Bleachers and balcony seats are expensive, but it's free to join the masses in the middle. The snorting horses and their nervous riders line up, jockeying for the best spot. Silence takes over. Once the rope drops, there's one basic rule. There are no rules. They race bareback like crazy, while spectators go wild. Life stops for these frantic three laps, just 90 seconds. When the winner crosses the line, the winning contrada goes berserk. Tears of joy flow, people embrace. The winners thunder through the streets and eventually into the cathedral, filled with jubilation. Then the winners raise their coveted palio high, champions until the next race. Oh, man, it is cold out there. Hi, I'm Rick Steves. You know, winter may not be the best time to travel, but it's a perfect time to start planning your next trip. And to start off, you got to decide where you're going to go. Here's a hint. I like to go where the people are having the most fun. And we've just written a new guidebook. It's called Rick Steves European Festivals. And this features my favorite 10 festivals in Europe, plus 30 festivals submitted by our traveling readers. This gives you my favorite 10 festivals and why they're festivals and how to enjoy them. We got the Palio, we got Oktoberfest, Bastille Day, Carnival, the Running of the Bulls. So much fun and so much color. Now, when you know where you're gonna travel, then pick up the latest edition of one of my Rick Steves complete guidebooks. This would be the book for whatever country that has all the hotels, restaurants, and sightseeing specifics. These two books, Rick Steves European Festivals and the latest edition of our Rick Steves Complete Guide, teaming up to help you have the best possible trip. Happy travels.